Are you struggling to lose weight? When you're trying to lose weight, you want to eat a really filling meal that you can enjoy and also low in calories. Hi, I'm Ola from fitnessfoodrecipes.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to share with you a quick chia pudding meal prep that you can eat to help you lose weight. You're going to like this chia pudding because it is tasty, quick to make, and it is also filling. It will keep you fuller for longer. Let's get into this video. The great thing about chia pudding is that you can make it ahead of time. So it is great for meal prepping. So to make your chia pudding, you want to get a mason jar like this or just a jar like this. I got this from Amazon. So just get a jar like this that is big enough. And this is almond milk. It's uh, 300 milliliter of almond milk and 100 milliliter of water. So I've mixed them together. So you want to add your liquid into the jar. That's the first thing you want to do. Then you want to use pure maple syrup. This is the one I use. It's 100% pure Canadian maple syrup. So you want to add, you can, you can use only two, but it's better to use maple syrup. It's healthier for you, in my opinion. So you want to you want to add one tablespoon of maple syrup into your 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 liquid, and just kind of stir them together like this. That's when you add your chia seeds. As you can see, I use the Superfood Outlet chia seeds. This is the organic version. I bought this from Amazon. If you want this chia seeds, make sure you click in the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. So I'm going to get a little commission, but it's great chia seeds. It's, it's the best chia seeds you can, you can eat. So then you want to add, the way you want to make your chia seeds, you have to be, you have to be very particular about it. You want to add one, one tablespoon of chia seeds first of all, and then kind of stir it together. You want to make it in, 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 a, in a very particular manner, in a very specific, so you have to follow the instructions, please. If you want your chia seeds to come out really, really perfectly. So once you mix your chia seeds, it's just one, one tablespoon for now. Then you mix it for a little bit, like I'm doing. So after a few seconds, you add another tablespoon like that. Overall, we're going to, you know, for this uh, particular chia pudding, we're going to use five tablespoons. But as you can see, I'm, I'm adding the chia seeds to the liquid very, very slowly. So you want to add it, then stir a little bit. And then add two more tablespoons at the same time two more one two then stir it again just want to get a feel of how it is like this as i'm doing and lastly you want to add the last of your of your chia seeds so making it five tablespoons all together. So just stir it together, stir it a bit, a little bit. Once you've stirred it together, to make sure it's all, all mixed together like this, as you can see, then just leave it to sit. You can put a lid on it. If you want to, you don't have to, but just leave it to sit for about five minutes. After about five minutes, you want to you, you should notice that your chia seeds is start to is starting to thicken up. It's it's thicker than it was before, as you can see. This is good. That means you have good chia seeds, as you can see. It's all thickened together. So as you can see, my chia seeds is starting to thicken up. Once it gets thicker like this, that means it's it's good. So what you want to do is 
you want to put your chia seeds in the fridge, right? You want, you want to put your chia seeds, put it, set it aside and put it in the fridge for about two to four hours. Sometimes what I do is I leave my chia seeds overnight because chia seeds are really good, okay? So you can put them in the fridge for anything up to two to four hours or you can put it in the fridge for, you know, overnight in the fridge and you can just come back to it in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is like this, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and then I'm just gonna come back to it in about four hours. So after taking out your chia pudding from the fridge, you will notice that it's taken up. This is the exciting part of your chia pudding because now you're going to add your toppings. And this chia pudding, this one especially, it's the maple blueberry chia pudding with Greek yogurt. So we're gonna to top it this one with Greek yogurt and fresh blueberries. So I'm topping this one with 100 grams of and don't forget your blueberries you just want to top it on your chia pudding like this and now this one is ready and it's ready to be eaten as you can see it's really really thick and just you can have a taste look at it look how yummy it is when you eat this in the morning it's really going to fill you up you know and it's going to help you lose weight And before you go, I would like to let you know, one thing about eating chia pudding is that chia seeds are very, very high in fiber. So when you eat your chia seeds, when you eat your chia pudding, make sure you drink a lot of water so you, you don't get any side effects in terms of uh, any digestive problem or any uh, constipation uh, issues, you know what I mean? So because it's so high in fiber, Drinking a lot of water will help your chia, chia pudding digest properly. And also, if you want to make them overnight, which I would highly recommend, um, you should make the chia pudding like I did in the video. But then in the morning, you should add your toppings. You know, that's the, that's the best way I see. I think you should make it. But yeah, in terms of the filling aspect of it, it's going to really fill you up because of the fiber content. Because fiber adds bulk to food, so it's really going to be, um, it's, it's really healthy for you and you definitely should uh, make it. As you can see, this whole tub of chia pudding is um, is just uh, about uh, 510 calories. It's, it's incredible, but in terms of how much it's going to fill you up and it's, it's nutritious too, you know. I made two. I gave you two options. You can either eat this um, maple blueberry chia pudding with uh, topped with uh, Greek yogurt. It's really good. Or you can make this one. This one is the chocolate chia pudding topped with bananas. You know, and 
you have two, you have both options you can choose. You have both low calorie uh, meals. I'm going to leave the macronutrient information in the description below. And obviously, if you want to read up on it, if you want to read up on it, if you like reading, you can go on. You can go to um, Fitness Food Recipes. Dot co dot uk. I'm going. That's my um my food blog. That's my website. I'm going to leave the link to the uh, recipe um, article in the description below, so you can definitely read up on it and read up on the benefits in terms of the um the the health benefits that eating chia seeds in the form of chia pudding can do for you in terms of the protein content and you know everything that you know that it brings. So yeah. You have two options. You can either make the chocolate chia pudding, or you can make the uh, uh, blueberry maple chia pudding, like I just showed you. So yeah. So if you like this recipe, if you like this meal prep, yeah. If you like this um, chia pudding meal prep, make sure you um, like this video and um, leave a comment below. Let me t let me know which one are you going to make. Are you going to make this chocolate one, or are you going to make the maple blueberry? With, with um, your brick your words will decide you know both are great options to eat and they'll both fill you up and they'll definitely help you lose weight so if you like this cheer up with a meal prep make sure you leave a like uh, on the video and just subscribe for more uh, fitness food recipes like this thank you for watching